You know, the World Health Organization reported that more than 3 million people died due to COPD in 2015. That represents 5% of all deaths worldwide. About 90% of those deaths took place in low and middle income regions. And the question is, why? Why in those regions? Is it is it all linked to smoking? Is most of it linked to smoking? Is it linked to diet? So uh, the man with the answers is here, Dr. Robinson. Why in the, are we seeing this happen in the lower to middle income areas? Well, I think you hit it right on the head. It's actually okay. a social economic disease. Okay. And I think the problem with COPD or in general is that uh, access to care can be a, an issue. Uh, making it uh, in front of a pulmonary physician or at least having spirometry done uh, to make the diagnosis can be an issue. So a huge part of it, aside from just the, the tobacco use, is also occupation. Uh, those areas that you, you, you uh, demonstrated on the, uh, on the slide are areas where uh, agriculture, uh, so things that our patients are, are inhaling from work, uh, are also a, a risk for having COPD. And so I think for our patients, uh, a large chunk of it is uh, really focusing our energies on the parts of the, of the United States that have a high burden of disease. So I would think South Florida, I feel like we're healthier than most parts of the country, I hope. I don't know. I think so. And that we don't really have factories here that people work in. So are we a little better off in South Florida? Well, the prevalence is actually quite high still in Florida is as it? well. Yeah, unfortunately, um, there are rural parts of our state. Uh, and, and we do see that the, in the rural parts of, uh, of Florida that the amount of COPD is a little higher.